here are five things that i started doing to see my hair move from this state to this state in just three months i decided to look into the specific things that i actually did to help my hair to grow from that state to the most healthiest state i'd ever seen my hair in a long while and i picked out five things that are very very significant to me and i know that this might not be the same for you but trust me if you look into some of these things i'm going to be sharing with you you're going to see one or two things that you might find peculiar to you or that might help you going forward in your hair care journey so without wasting much of your time let's jump right into this number one the first thing that i did within that three months that changed the course of my hair journey and um, helped me to better grow healthier hair than i did before was to start pre-pulling my hair with coconut oil hold on a minute i know a lot of us don't like coconut oil i had a misconception about coconut oil and i feel like a lot of us are into this same issue we have a lot of misconception about the use of coconut oil so in the past i tried using coconut oil i did and my hair was very much healthy until i came across some trends and videos that talked about coconut oil making your hair dry making your hair break and all those stuff and i stopped using coconut oil and my hair never felt the same after that but until recently i decided to go back to using coconut oil as a triple treatment so um if you've been watching me for a while you know that i do hot oil treatment before my wash day i mean before i shampoo my hair so um i use olive oil and some other oils but then i decided to you know go into using coconut oil to prepare my hair a lady called green beauty here on youtube inspired me to go back to using coconut oil as a prepare treatment so in her video she explained how using coconut oil before your shampoo helps you to kind of retain moisture in your hair so that after your shampoo treatment your hair still feels you know a little bit moisturized so i can't really say word for word how she put it but it better informed me and it made me understand what coconut oil is she explained it in such a way that i understood how to use it for my own hair care and uh, i decided to start using it as a preparatory treatment if i find that video i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you can go watch it so number two thing that i did that i find specific is that i started using jamaican black castor oil everybody said um castor oil is too thick it's going to weigh your head down it's going to put dirt it's going to do this and that i didn't stop using it but i kind of declined in my use so i would have a bottle of castor oil and it would be with me for months without me you know using up the bottle just because i shifted my focus to olive oil so i started using a lot more of olive oil and my essential oils i'm not sure what led me to you know go back to strictly using you know my jamaican black castor oil but jamaican black castor oil is the is my favorite oil right now <laughs> it has a way of making my hair feel stretchy i don't know if it's the oil or something else i'm doing but anytime i apply jamaican black custard oil to my hair it feels this coily you know each time i you can see it in some of my videos when i'm maybe moisturizing my hair or doing something to my hair you know that stretch you see at the ends of my hair my hair the ends of my hair looking coily and kind of bouncy or stretchy something like that i just feel is the jamaican black castor oil that does that because me going back to consistently using it has been a blessing to me so i am sticking to that number three thing that i discovered um was very significant around that three months period was to moisturize my hair three times a week now it's different if you feel like your hair is moisturized there is no need to moisturize it but before then i used to sometimes i will moisturize my hair sometimes i'm not really consistent with the moisturization routine um so i decided to be religious kind of <laughs> with re-moisturizing my hair i kept on doing that and honestly speaking the results i got after that three months you can see for yourself <laughs> so yeah 
the fourth thing that i also picked out to be very significant that i did i started detangling my hair less and putting my hair in long-term protective style so if you go back to my previous videos from uh, september last year i had now started doing protective style for longer than my weekly you know method because initially i've been doing weekly washes weekly styling and all i decided to be taking my twists for two to three weeks so it wasn't a weekly thing again that helped me to stay off my hair for a while and help me to less detangle my hair I, I discovered the less i have to be on my hair the less um breakage i have the less shedding i have and the less damage i have um by the end of december i saw my progress and i decided okay i think um long-term protective style is what i'm going to be doing which brings me to the fifth um thing that i started doing which a lot of us might not consider as anything but for me it meant a lot to me and i had to make sacrifices so number five is sacrifices i had to make sacrifice in the sense that i'm going to be leaving my hair in a particular style for a whole six months which of course i've shared in my previous video that it could be boring for someone who does not really care about hair growth does not really care about healthy hair does not really care about you know long hair and all that you might find it very very frustrating to keep your hair for that long but after trying out the three months challenge i saw how beneficial it was to my hair i saw the change so that change already i knew that i was doing something good i was doing something right i was on track and i decided okay i'm going to see for another six months and see where this length retention healthy hair takes me to so that is all i have for you guys i wanted to share this because for me my error has always been that i jumped on um trends instead of listening to what my hair really needs that is all you have to do listen to your hair i can't tell you what to use what not to use how to use it huh? because we're different your hair is different like i said about coconut oil many people their hair don't like coconut oil and i can't tell them go and use coconut oil because it's working for me no do what you feel your hair need i hope that you've learned something from this video uh please if you did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share to as many of your friends and family that might be in this situation because i know a lot of people have challenges with their hair growth but are not able to find solution to it i'm not a hair therapist or a dermatologist or whatever i just know that i share my experience and um things that i've learned from my own hair journey from my experience i share with you guys and wish you well as well in your hair care journey so till i come your way in my next one bye for now